in this topic, uh, we will discuss the possibility of STL to ladder conversion. I uh, received this um, question in the comments section in YouTube. Uh, can you help me to change this code to ladder, please? I do the instruction, but I cannot. So, uh, I just want to explain the whole procedure once and uh, it will be uh, a complete uh, video for uh, future cases. STL to ladder conversion is not 100% possible in all cases. Uh, STL is possible for SM300, SM400, and S7-1500. Uh, it's also uh, available in SF7 Classic and in TA Portal. Uh, while using in SF300, uh, STL is uh, possible to be used in SF300, but you need to remember that uh, you cannot um, copy a code in SF300 uh, to a SF400 project and uh, uh, you need to uh, remember that the controller structure or memory structure um, accumulator and other features in S7300 is uh, different from S7400. So if you want to copy a program, uh, STL program in uh, Step 7 same program, but different hardware, it's not possible in some cases. Uh, to copy a program from S7300 to the S7400 or vice versa. S7400 has a uh, different type of uh, uh, accumulator numbers, different type of registers. So uh, you need to be careful. Uh, you know, uh, now the big problem is to converting a steel pro uh, program in S7300 to uh, the ladder program in SL1200 or SM1500. Uh, that's a bit uh, difficult because uh, SM1200 is different hardware and you need to know uh, the SL for the original controller in an expert level and at the same time you need to know SM1200 programming in TL portal and uh, and then start uh, uh, converting. Uh, mm, it's not always possible to convert STL to LAD. It's not possible 100%. If you are an expert level in STL, if, if you are good at STL, it's also possible uh, to, to convert possibly 95% it depends on your program which if it's mostly on binary handling program it's po it's possible to do that uh, by using the editor but if it's not only the binary uh, there are many jumps there are many loops uh, your chances will be decreased dramatically So uh, I developed a very simple program in step 7 and I will uh, show you how to perform the conversion. So converting STL to ladder is uh, somehow similar to uh, translating a text from, from a language to another language. Consider you want to translate from German to English, so you need to know the uh, German and uh, while translating you should be an expert in the English and trans translate all the uh, sentences from German to English. So STL to ladder is uh, somehow similar to, to that. You need to be in an expert in STL and you need to know the ladder in a good level to convert. So I uh, created a very 
simple scenarios here I will explain the conversion this is a simple binary program consider we have this program here and some other program some other program sections like uh, simple or I am I will change the output signal uh, we have this uh, code section and uh, this is an STL program and we know that uh, it cannot be converted to the uh, to the ladder because it contains two uh, logic step so we need to perform the uh, separation of logic steps I just copy the uh, let me change all all of them to O I need to copy the, the second logic step and insert that here uh, let me try again to to check the program in ladder so if you are familiar with the concept of logic step in STL, uh, you can uh, perform separation of logic steps in your program and the program will be available in ladder, STL and FDB. As you can see, it's possible to switch the programming languages from here. So you need to be fam uh, familiar, you need to be familiar with the concept of uh, uh, logic step so this uh, network 3 is on another STL program this is another program and uh, if you are this is another logic step if you are familiar with the uh, logic step it's possible to simply uh, separate the logic steps and uh, you can see that uh, all the code sections are converted to ladder and uh, it's also possible when it's converted to lab it's possible to convert it to FBD and STL as well so the next uh, section is the, uh, the next example is the floating point uh, map uh, this is a ladder program we want to add two values and store that in a target uh, let me convert that to STL this is the STL version uh, very simple consider we want to uh, add another code section here and uh, same memory MD20 I want to add another value or I want to perform subtraction and transfer that to another memory so uh, if I want to convert that to this is a steel program if I want to convert to ladder network 4 will not be converted I need to you know separate uh, this is a this is a, this is one uh, program section and this is this is another program section so I will make a new uh, network here go to con uh, convert the whole program into STL and now insert the new part of the program now it's possible to convert the uh, network um, 4 and network 5 into ladder uh, same applies to conversion uh, this is the uh, floating point mass and same applies to floating uh, same applies to the conversion this is the uh, double integer to BCD conversion and this is integer to double integer conversion uh, they are similar they are uh, they can be converted to uh, it can be converted to ladder very easily you can see that if you add NOP0 at the end of the ladder program 
but piston control one you will have the uh, leather uh, version but the final part of the program is our uh, loop uh, uh, it's our loop in a steel uh, it's it's a it's a somehow com mm, complex mm, uh, it's a program and uh, in this program uh, we we will set a memory area that will be started from m200.0 uh, and we will set the memories from that uh, that area it's also possible it's also possible to function test it's also possible to function test the program and to find out uh, how the program will work so uh, we will turn on only uh, 16 memory bits that will be started from m200.0 this cannot uh, be directly converted to ladder because it's a comp mm, uh, it's a complex STL program uh, we have here um, pointer section this is our loop section uh, loop initialization this this part is loop in initialization and uh, setting uh, the first memory incrementing the address in address register one and then uh, move to the next iteration mm, this concept cannot be copied to ladder uh, one by one but you have uh, you have a system function that is available and can be used in ladder from library, I think if you go to system functions and SF, SFC21, we'll do the same. Yeah, SFC21 will fill. Uh, let me create a new network SFC21 and this function will will do the same so the moral of the story our conclusion is that uh, it's not possible to uh, convert any STL program it's of, it's possible to convert simple uh, binary logic simple calculations to their ladder counterpart but it's not possible to convert a complex uh, complex tasks into ladder uh, you know the solution is you should know the you know uh, the concept behind the program you should know the uh, what's the purpose behind the program and you should find a um, ladder solution for that this is all this is somehow we, we are filling the memories that are uh, two uh, bytes of memory one word that is uh, started from m 200.0 and uh, we will we will uh, fill that with truth signal it's also possible to fill, uh, fill that with false signal uh, we will test that uh, same task can be done by sfc21 that will initialize the memory area uh, for s7 1200 uh, you have the same concept and for s7 1500 you have the same concept so um, for conversion, you should know the STL programming uh, in an expert level to be able to convert your STL program uh, in a new uh, controller version. But in some rare cases that the STL program is uh, developed or was developed to in interact with a specific hardware uh, you need to find a solution related to the, that hardware for S7-1200 and S7-1500. Uh, so you need to uh, work a bit on your program section and uh, finally start converting STL to ladder. 
So uh, I will change the this loop section. So uh, you can see that this memory area is this memory area two two uh, two bytes are filled with true. I will make them false or false, and somehow I reset all of the memory areas, and again I need to set them. Uh, we will return to our um, slides here. So it's like transition. You should know the SQL programming in an expert level to perform conversion. And uh, just keep in mind that it's not possible 100%. Uh, there are many pitfalls. Uh, you, you need to be able to understand the SQL programming language. You should know the mm, process or you should know the part of the uh, factory that the controller is. Uh, regulate that. Mm, you should know the process, or you should know the whole uh, control system in very detail, and then try to understand the SQL program and convert that to ladder. Uh, the difference between controllers in hardware is very important. SMS 300, 400 are totally different in uh, structure and uh, if the interface is uh, Profibus, if you want to upgrade the machine from uh, Profibus to Profinet, uh, it's, it's also important to, to uh, notice that. Um, if you want to convert the skill from Siemens to ladder from other manufacturer, that is also important to know that uh, some uh, Siemens uh, ladder syntax may not be applicable in Alibra or other uh, programming languages. You, you need to uh, know the STL in Siemens in an expert level and uh, you know like ladder in uh, Alibra you need to know that in a, a good level to, to perform the uh, conversion and function test is the last uh, step. And to summarize, uh, I don't suggest uh, STL to lat conversion. You need to learn STL. Um, there are many good uh, training courses. There are many good manuals. You can search. You can go and visit uh, Siemens Industry Online Support. And you will find great amount of STL material there to make yourself familiar with STL. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel.